Erev Tov Harim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a very disturbing uh, uh, news broadcast on RT News this evening. We find out there was a woman, as you see pictured on your screen now, approximately 39 years of age. She is a nanny uh, of, a, of a family there. She is dressed like a Muslim. Her face is, uh, only her head is covered in the, in the photo here. She is actually carrying the head of a three or four year old child that she murdered earlier that day. Uh, RT is there to report it there live from Moscow. She was outside the metro station there. Uh, the family didn't uh, was totally unaware of what was going on. And of course, as of right now, no one knows exactly did they suspect any strange behavior with her. Uh, she was chanting outside of the metro station, uh, uh, Allah Akbar, and this will be what will happen to all the Russians. They will be strung up and killed with their heads cut off. Uh, she claimed that she had, was a suicide bomber, was going to blow the place up. Uh, I think apparently she was not, did not have any explosives on, but she did take out the heinous crime of allegedly murdering a child and, and decapitating this child. Supposedly there was an older child as well there, but the child, I guess, went off to school while this nanny was there, left uh, for the care of the other child there. Uh, the mother of the child was carried to the hospital. The child, uh, the mother had passed out completely from shock. Uh, the woman did set the apartment ablaze before leaving. Uh, very disturbing uh, story uh, that happened there in Moscow today. Uh, there's a lot of tensions also in uh, Syria. Uh, the cease, uh, ceasefire has been holding somewhat okay, with the exception of Turkey. Uh, they have been violating the ceasefire. They have been uh, steadily attacking the Kurds. And it was even stated earlier that, that Turkey, uh, along with uh, ISIS, ISIS crossed into the Turkish side of the border and attacked the Kurds that were living there in Turkey this time with uh, air support from the Turkish government. Now, this is something the Israeli, or excuse me, the, the, uh, the Russian uh, the, uh, forces there were stating that it was actually happening there in the country. Very dis concerning news that's going on all over the world, and um, uh, it's it's just really it's it's not a good scene at all, friends, not at all. Uh, but at any rate, there uh, we we um, uh, earlier today, just switching little uh, sides here, go to another little point here. I wanted to share with you. We were. Um, uh, we noticed we have had a major weather patterns changing here in East Europe. Uh, this is something, of course, many of those that have followed Planet X, uh, the coming of Planet X, have stated that uh, before the planet were to actually arrive, there would be all kinds of changes of weather patterns that will be happening as a global phenomena. Uh, and East Europe is no different than any of the other countries. In fact, I got an email just the other day from a friend stating to me after doing our own uh, video on Planet X, and of course we just barely scathed the top of it, not even gone deeply into this subject at all. There's so much that could be said about it, but they brought up a good point. He says, you know, brother, you, you mentioned uh, Moses in there and the Planet X actually coming around during his time uh, back when he was in Egypt. And he reminded me also that, uh, that there was a, uh, during the time of Joseph, there was a seven-year play uh, famine during the time when Joseph was in Egypt. Uh, of course, I don't, I, I'm assuming that that was also believed that maybe Planet X came through there and caused that uh, drought for seven years where there was no rain. Uh, this was giving in light of the um, thought that when the two witnesses come, that during their ministry, there'll be no rain for approximately three and a half years. And keep in, in mind of that, if it was Planet X that passed uh, during the time of Moses, uh, then uh, there, you know, there are some saying that some of the phenomena that happened could have been a result of Planet X, especially the fire raining down out of heaven, a, a meteor shower, so to speak, that rained down and killed uh, the cattle of the Egyptians, killed uh, uh, the Egyptians themselves that did not go in uh, to, to be protected from this firefall. Uh, can't say as I could say that that's really so or not. I know Gil Broussard, uh, Broussard is, uh, believed to, believes that the coming of Planet X is every 350 to 60 years uh, versus the every 3,600 years. Now, I can't say either one. have no idea myself on that particular issue, but nonetheless, 
uh, it's pretty obvious that when Jonah, uh, excuse me, not Jonah, but when Noah, during his time, during the Andalusian destruction, that no doubt that was caused by Planet X. And as we uh, related in our own little short video about this, uh, we do believe that this may very well be God's judgment himself against those that have rejected his word. Now, uh, a lot of people are looking on how can you stay safe from this, and that's another issue altogether. I do believe that if you're a true believer, that's the ones that will be protected. It doesn't seem like those that are inside the mountains of the earth, all the elite won't do them a bit of good as that earth begins to move, the crust begins to shift. What do you think is going to happen to all those rocks? They, they cry out according to the Bible, let the rocks fall on us and hide us from him that is to come. Uh, so I do believe it's not the best place to be at all. I'd rather be up on top, believing in the Lord, and know all will be well nonetheless. Anyhow, though, I want to take you to a little quick clip there that we did a little bit earlier here this evening. Uh, the snow is still falling very heavy. Uh, we went outside to show our difference in the weather pattern because we have been seeing majorly abrupt weather patterns in Eastern Europe here that they claim, some claim, that this may be attributed to Planet X and its already effects on planet Earth. Take a look at this. Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I mean, we're having some really, really crazy weather here in Eastern Europe. Uh, a lot of people, it's, it's heavily snowing out here, but a lot of people have been talking about uh, Planet X and how it is altering the weather all over the world. And, you know, just the other day, uh, yesterday and the day before, you know, you could just about come out with just a t-shirt on. Uh, it goes from rain then to heavy snow, and we're actually being predicted to get 13 centimeters of snow over here over the next couple of days here. Uh, snow's coming all over the camera. I'm just getting covered in snow right now. It's not like a blizzard or nothing like that. It's just strange. Why is this weather patterns happening so much like this? Now, of course, according to uh, Bob Fletcher, when he speaks about the coming of Planet X, he goes into a lot of this information on uh, his uh, channel there. I think it's Bob Fletcher Investigations.com, if I remember right, is his uh, actual channel. But he speaks about how that all the recorded documentation that's out there speaks about when Planet X comes, how it alters the weather, things that are expected like that. Uh, we could see a lot of changes, earthquakes, etc. Even um, the former astronomer Ferrata. He also spoke about, you know, was able to predict even back in the last century there, several earthquakes due uh, to different planetary alignments and movements of things like that. And we're definitely seeing that. And this is exactly what we have here in the Czech Republic. We went from seeming like nearly getting ready for spring. And, and I know it's still, uh, it's right here beginning at the beginning of March here, but this one spring is supposed to start coming in around here. We don't normally don't see uh, heavy snowfall or anything like that. And the ground is just completely covered. I mean, I'm right out here in front of my house here and the snow is just coming down. The camera is actually already covered in snow just in this brief short period of time. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live from Eastern Europe. Shalom. Since we actually did that video there, we've actually seen, uh, of course in the video, it looks like you, you can see the snow coming down, but you don't see very much covering the streets or anything like that. But I went out this evening, about 9 p.m., uh, opened up the door and we had about a half a foot of snow. Now we were expecting a 13 centimeter, and I'm not sure exactly how that calculates out to be, but I would assume half a foot of snow has already probably reached that, uh, that max there, or maybe just a little, little under that. But the snow is still falling heavily. By the time I shoveled the sidewalk and got into the driveway, uh, we already had another almost an inch of snow on the ground that had done covered the sidewalk back up. So it's falling pretty quick, and I'm only concerned that I may have a foot of snow in the morning. It's one reason why I went ahead and shoveled while I could, because if I didn't, I knew that I'd have even a bigger job come the morning as, as the sun rises in the morning, if it even rises in the morning. Uh, anyway, so much is going on around the world. Also, a quick note for you, there's some, uh, I saw an American source here that was stating that Russia, uh, vowing to fight back against a new world order, is going to a gold-backed currency standard. He says he will not go to a, uh, to a system where it is a cashless system. He is vowing to stay away from the new world order and the way the elites are wanting to do it. Uh, he claims that's exactly what the United States will be doing. 
And I did a little bit of research on some of the Russian uh, channels there. In fact, I think I posted one of those on our Facebook, Israeli News Live. You can check that out if you want to go there. I translated a little bit of the, uh, the statement in there that's made there about uh, Vladimir Putin and what he is doing about the gold. He is buying up gold like crazy ever since 2005. In fact, he's considered to be the sixth uh, largest gold holder. Now Russia is the sixth largest gold holder. Uh, China being uh, right in front of him at the fifth largest. They claim that uh, the United States, Germany, France, and one other country is above them. But uh, I kind of differ with that. The Vatican is actually number one. And the United States, France, and Germany, well, your money's all spent, especially if you'd already put it over there with the United States and uh, in the vault there, because we know, according to, to um, um, pe people like Bob Fletcher, that state that they have the uh, the knowledge to know this, that we're, the reason why the Germans can't get their gold back until 2020 is because all that gold was actually used up by the United States to dig all their underground hideaways to get away from Planet X in the first place. Now, if you think about it, they say in 2020. I kind of find that very interesting as well. 2020, why is it 2020 they get their money back? If you think about that, keep in mind that the, the furthest out time frame for Planet X to pass through is 2020, which leads me to another idea. Is really the New World Order about before or after Planet X passes through? Now, I know that's a, probably a whole new idea to consider altogether. Most people think of the New World Order coming in before Planet X. In fact, most people never even consider the Planet X in the picture of this, but I've been wondering that myself. Perhaps the New World Order all along has been to do with the planet X coming through and after the planet X has passed that they would have a, a new world order, a new global system. Why? Because they're hoping to survive this thing. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that and get back with you guys on that. Now, you didn't see it since I've been on tonight, but our electricity has been flickering on and off because of the snowstorm. So I'm going to try to cut this quick here and get off of here and get what we do have uploaded for you so that uh, you can get a little idea of what is going on, at least from our perspective of the world there. And uh, hopefully we have electricity come tomorrow after this snowstorm begins to pass. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.